in the dynamic and ever-changing field of IT, staying informed and gaining insights from experts is invaluable. So that's why we're excited to bring you today's webinar featuring a leading voice in the industry. Our guest speaker has not only made significant contributions in the field of solution architect, but also with a wealth of knowledge and experience, his impressive achievements and contribution to the field have earned him a well-deserved reputation. So we are fortunate to have him to share him insights and valuable perspectives. So everyone kindly please welcome Mr. Victor. Hey, Victor, thank you so much for joining. I know you are at airport. <laughs> thank yes, you so I am. much. Thank you, Narman. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you. Thank you. So, Victor, you know what? We uh -huh. circulated uh, this uh, WhatsApp screenshot in all the groups when you got the job. People were quite excited. They wanted to meet you. They wanted to know what is what how Victor's journey looks like, whether I'll be able to have the same journey or not. I told all of them that, Let's just wait. Let's just call Victor in one of our webinar as a guest and listen. Here's the story from him. Yeah, over okay. to you, sir. Um, where would where would you want me to start? How I uh, started with Think Loudly. Um, a <laughs> I mean, friend you of mine. Talk about your journey, yeah, and 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 okay. uh, which, what job you have gotten. What was your interview process? So that you know people will little little be motivated that okay, this is a process which works. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Well, I started to think pretty cloudy about four years ago, but I didn't keep up because I did solutions architect with Think Cloudly, and I had a I I I I had a job that took my time. You know, it wasn't that bad. You know, but th that wasn't what I wanted because I was always going to work. You know, and people I work with, um, you know, people in the People in the in the office section, I see them all the time coming to work whenever they feel like. You know, I was like, I want to be that. So, um, but like I said, I didn't put much seriousness into it, even though I believe I know the solutions, the solutions architect. But I think after COVID, yeah, after COVID, it became glaring that oh, no, I can't keep doing this anymore. So I kept pushing as well. And 2023 was when I decided fully that, okay, let me put more seriousness into this now. And I went back, I did social architect all over again. And just to, you know, um, to, to get my base straightened up. And I also, after that, I just went straight into a DevOps role. Um, I mean, no, the, the, the DevOps uh, program, we think cloud there as well. And as I was doing that, I was also, um, I was also, I was also applying for jobs. Um, many recruiters reached out, and it's funny because when they reach out, you send your resume. They say send me updated resume. You do that, they don't reach out to you no more. <laughs> you know, I kept, I kept, I kept applying. I didn't stop, and um, I did life project as well. Uh, uh, a very, a very good friend of mine in the class, Debs. I believe she's in, she's in the the audience as well. Shout out to to uh, uh, Debs. We studied on the side, so after class we studied. She's in Canada. I'm in the United States. We just hook up online and just do things, and you know we and uh, I got a role. That's that's just the story, and <laughs> how I got the was job. It, was it quite simple, Victor? Well. For me, I would say it it was simple, but the test the test was uh, was applying to multiple roles and not getting any call, not getting any call, and also another test was even if you get even if you get a follow up even if you get a follow up email, and they say hey let's get an, an updated resume, you give them the updated resume, they don't they don't reach back to you, so I got a call. I got a call that they like my resume and they would uh, want to follow up with me. I thought, I thought, I thought it was a joke. And this is where it get really, really funny for me because I got, I did my interview, my first interview. No, I did my first interview with the recruiter. I think it was on a Monday and they, they, they scheduled me for a Friday the following week. I did that interview and while I, while I was, almost done with the interview the 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 interviewers said two of them said they were going to 
reach out to me um, in a few weeks time because they have other candidates they want to they want to they want to interview as well. And I was surprised when I got the email on Monday that hey, we'd like to go move forward with you to a second round of technical interview. And I had to text the recruiter. I was like, um, I just did my interview on Friday. Could there be a mix up here? I was like, oh no, 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 no. They were very impressed. So, so I was so, so that motivated me. So yeah, I would say it was it was easy for me once the recruiter was serious with me. Other than that, the the, the part I saw that was very tough was keeping up conversation with the recruiter because I don't know if, if most of them were just gassing me, but yeah, that's that, that's the story now, man. Awesome, awesome, Victor. I mean, thank you so so much for letting us know. But how many interviews did you attend? And was it just one interview you went into and and you cracked that interview out, or you or you just have like multiple interviews with multiple organizations? I had I attended just one interview. Wow, <laughs> this is <Yeah>. great. <laughs> yes, this is awesome. I mean, I have never heard from any student that I just went for one interview <laughs> and cracked it. One out. interview. One interview. Thanks. Very nice. And what about the current position? You know, is it like I I have heard that you are moving to Colorado from Jersey, right? So yes. Uh, what is like and and you mentioned one very important thing that if you really do well, they're okay to move you to uh, move you back to Jersey and you can work from home and you can have that flexible working. So if you can just share that story with our students, that what how would how do they want you to work or, or from where do they want you to work? Sure. The job exactly is an hybrid role. So it's three days on site, two days work from home. Mm -hmm. But um uh, they they said if I do well, they would they they wouldn't bother. They would they would even just want to they would they wouldn't mind me working from home um full time. And I think that's the way the company is because when I spoke with the CEO, when I had an interview with the CEO, he mm -hmm. said he hasn't seen some of his staffs in about two years now. Wow. <laughs> So that, if that's you're good at what you, that's how I yes, did. yes. Yeah. He said if you're good at what you do, they just want you to work from home. But they just want to see how. I guess they want the situation. They want to see how you can relate with people first of all, in an office setting, and see if you meet your targets or deliverables sort of, and they could now transition you working from home fully, but. But for for a start, they want me to work three days on site and two days from home. Awesome. So uh, I think yeah. Victor, one thing which I liked about your job when you were talking to me the other day, that it is mm -hmm. a startup. You know where you are going. That is a startup. It means that mm -hmm. you have to end to end everything. I mean, you were talking. Yes. So there, was, there was one funny thing you were telling me that. Uh, they have their own AWS account, but you might have to think about like whose credit card I'm going to use, right? So that is quite funny. Yes. I've been working with so many organizations in my past and um, I have never thought about which card am I going to use, which credit card I'm going to plug with AWS account. So I think this is yeah. something funny that you are going to work at that grass root level that, you know, you have to manage everything, you know? So yes, yes. Yeah. So if you can just talk about a little bit that what le what level are they expecting and what kind of a work are they expecting from you? Well, I guess it's everything bundled into one from cloud administrator to cloud engineer to DevOps. I mean, they have their DevOps team anyways, but what they have on AWS is basically it's not like, you know, up to standard. It's not secure sort of. It's something a space architect just read the uh, documentation and just spin, spin things up online. So what they want now is to is to follow. I would say is 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 to follow AWS uh, well architected framework, if I could use that word. Okay. You know, so so for making sure that everything is secured, you have limited permissions to people. You know, you give permissions to people. To services, uh, let, let me let me say that again. You give permissions to people to require just the services that that they need, you know, and and it gets more advanced from there. They they currently have about fifty EC two instances running, and okay. what it told me in in about a year from now that could grow into a thousands, you know. So, okay. yeah. So it's a role that will make me learn from the basics to for basics intermediate to to advanced 
which I'm very grateful for. That's amazing. Victor, you don't have to worry about it. We are in the back end. So at even when you are doing your job, you need some job support, just let us know. So we will be certainly right there with you. And uh, thank you. Yeah. And Victor, one 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 more thing. Uh like so generally yeah. whenever I meet students like who have landed the job, they express one important fact that combining multi skills are actually playing that one uh one important aspect of landing the job. So do you think that when you attended Solution Architect? then going for DevOps and then going for DevOps projects. So do you think that the combination of all these three, three things actually played very well? And that's why you were able to find the job in your one attempt? Yes, it did play a very huge role. An example would be during the third round of interview, um, the lady was asking me, you know, she was, she was, just, she was just talking. She was asking me a question and I bought um, manifest file. I was like, oh, so you know something about Manifest Fire? I said, yeah, I did, I did, um, I did a DevOps, you know. Uh, so she was like, okay, what have you done with with DevOps? I was like, well, I've done, I've done pipeline. I used GitHub Actions to, but, but, but because AWS was really my strength. Okay, because, but like I said, because because um, AWS was my strength, I dwelled more on AWS, but even in my resume, I did put that I, uh, I am knowledgeable on a DevOps tools from Docker to um, GitHub Actions, Kubernetes, um, you know, um, Linux as well. So yeah, it did help, awesome. it did help. Though I didn't get much questions from DevOps, just a few questions, not in, not in much in depth, you understand? But okay. the fact that I have a knowledge of DevOps, it played a role. Okay. It played a huge role. Great. That, that is amazing. I mean, this is something what uh, should be noted by everyone here in the audience that multi-skills is actually playing an important role. So everyone mm -hmm. who is here, it's our humble request. It, it is okay if you don't want to sign up with Think Cloudly, but you want to do your own research, but make sure that you are combining multiple skills in your resume. That actually yeah. works better. Okay, and uh, Victor, one last question. So, I mean, it's an interesting question and I'm sure that people who are not listening, they will listen to it very carefully. <laughs> so the question is, uh, what's the salary range look like? You can you don't have to tell us your exact salary, but what is the salary range looks like? And uh, also, is it six figures? Well, the base pay is in six figures. The base pay oh. is mm -hmm. $93,000. But the bonuses, the bonuses is, heavy. yeah, the bonuses is real heavy. The bonuses amounts to about an, an extra 25 grand every year. So okay. that puts it at six figures already. Awesome. I mean, that's a great start, Victor. Honestly, that's a great yeah. start because, you know, and, and it's not like you are going to stop here. You know, it's going to be always, you're going to switch into different organizations, different roles, and definitely you will plan. But thank you so much, Victor, for letting us know. So guys, can we congratulate Victor? And can we Thanks. just wish him all the best? He's traveling to Colorado today and he's yeah. at the airport. So we can just congratulate him. Congratulations, Victor, from complete Think Loudly team. And thank you so thank much. You. Thank you, Nama. Thank you to the team. I don't know if I could shout out names here, but um, thank you to everybody, you know, <laughs> for my tutor uh, when I started Solutions Architects, when I was doing DevOps, even for my life project as well. They were very patient. I mean, you could ask questions one, one million times. They will answer you <laughs> one million and one times. You know what I'm saying? So I'm very grateful to your team. They, 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 were, really, they were really a path. They really, they really urged us or nudged us on, you know? Um, and, and, and I also remember, Naman, when we told you that there was one particular a, a, a tutor, we, we don't kind of like his mode of teaching, and you, you immediately gave us another a tutor, so you're someone who listen and you want us to grow. So I thank you now, man. I thank your team. Right. Thank no you. Worries. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, Debs. I saw my friend on the chat. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Debs. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Victor. I really appreciate it. And thank you everyone for congratulating Victor. And yes, we need to wish him all the best because he's going for a new thing and new life. All the care. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Switch from non-IT to IT today. Explore www.thinkcloudly.com.